Yeah, I think we're gonna <clears throat> go with what I feel is my forte for the moment, and we are gonna jump into Starfighter Assault. Most likely, most because I really want to see how they improved it. If they have improved it, I mean, you can't really expect stuff just out of the gate, but that's why they have a beta. People say it has been improved, and for some reason, I still can't find my joystick keys. I mean, the first Battlefront really had that issue. You couldn't bind your joystick keys. And in a game where you can pilot Starfighters, not being able to bind your joystick is a major fucking flaw. I mean, S Star Wars games was one of the few who actually said, no, you need a joystick to play this. And <coughs> EA hasn't really been all that well with making joysticks and frostbite work. Well, that's not entirely true. Joysticks work fairly fine in Battlefield 4, and right now I have a GXT555, and since it's PS4 compatible, it is my hope that it will just be taken as a regular controller rather than a joystick, meaning that the free bind might actually work. Let's go with the fighter for the moment. Nothing wrong with the graphics, but my joystick will not comply. The mode looks better at least, I, I'll give it that. In fact, the mode looks... Oh, come on, that's just... That's just cheating. Got him. Do I have any torpedoes on this thing? I also like the fact that they have more clearly marked when you are fighting bots and similar. Oh, and yeah, we. I should have watched where I was maneuvering. I think I'm gonna go with the Y-Wing this time around. We're starting our attack run now. Apparently flying a bomber is basically the quickest way to get fucked. I'm gonna get you. Come back here. I'm trying to figure out... Oh, that's how. We got the turrets. Wait. I had to figure out how the... Oh god, if we got someone on us. Not good. I want to blast that guy, but... Come on. Ah, too bad. I think I'm gonna stick with the X-Wing, actually. The X-Wing is the most balanced craft, but WHERE IS MY JOYSTICK SUPPORT?! I'm going to wait around for this. This is not acceptable. If you're making a Starfighter mode in your Star Wars game, I expect joystick support. I mean, how hard can it be? Evasive Pattern Delta 2. Got you now. The dialogue is pretty decent. Oh, get back here. We gotta kill a system, please. Apparently you get points for playing the objective, that's nice. They even naming it playing the objective. You get, for every hit I get on that, put on that ship, I get a playing the objective point. Come on, torpedoes. Yeah, I got the cruiser. Sweet. 
Keep at it. Structural failure imminent. Finish them off. Those cruisers Got are guarding one. the Star Destroyer. They're step one in our plan. Break, break, break. You little fucker. I'm gonna kick you. Got him. The cruisers are down. The I have to say that one of the things they've actually done well is that the controlling the Starfighter with your mouse is a lot more fluid and a lot easier than it used to be. So at least they have compensated for the lack of music support. But that doesn't mean I forgive them. And if you can't take a lot of ranting about lacking joystick support, I would not suggest staying on this video. Because there's going to be a lot of it. Oh, come on! Got him! Locking on fire! Where did he go? Ah, there he is. Sweet. Got him. Kill assist, but hey, it counts. Stay low. Good work. Our Y wings finished their bombing run. And we're dead. I had hoped that I would be able to blow a hole in that guy. Let's try the A wing. I haven't seen many people actually trying the A-Wing. I also like the wave mechanic, where you and several other people are spawning at once. Enemy vessels inbound. Alright. So we have to destroy the shield projectors, and I think flying inside is how we do that. Here. It's all the way. Let's get... Ooh, we got a kill assist for him gliding into, into the superstructure. Oh, come on. Box 2. Got him. I mean, the Starfighter mode has been... Really I like this. I mean, I could get this thing just because of the Starfighter mode. That's how much I like it at the moment. Objective destroyed. Generator down. Continue. With pleasure. Apparently, the Empire's not all that good in playing the objective. Got him. Another down. Making headway. Just need to. Keep clearing the these things and hope that the enemy decides to keep ignoring us. Or at least the majority of the enemy needs to keep ignoring us. There's an enemy who doesn't ignore us, but let's see if we can't blast him. I mean, the confined spaces make maneuvering difficult at best. I wanted to destroy that turret just because I could. I mean, it's pretty sweet that I can, but also because right now uh, the turret could aim in through the superstructure. I don't know if it actually can hit anything, but hey. And we're dead. At least we did. Hey, heroes are available. We can fly as Poe Dameron. Black One. I mean, this is in pretty much the wrong era, but... Form up on me. I wonder if I have more powerful blasters. I mean, if I'm Poe Dameron, one of the best Starfighter pilots. Oh god, I'm flat on the AI. Let's go inside with our... Oh god. Oh god. Come on. 
Yeah, I didn't last very long as Poe Neighbor. I think it's because that if you're flying a hero ship, people are much more likely to pay attention to you. But I still like the, how the heroes are distributed. Ah, we didn't get it. We've lost too many. We'll retreat to fight another day. That ending cutscene was a bit too intense, if you ask me. I mean, it didn't put as much feeling into it all as you might have expected, but hey. It works. I think we're gonna continue with this. Maybe we get to play as the Empire this time around. Yeah, we get to play as... We're gonna go with the Interceptors this time around, since... Yeah. I wonder what cards we have. We have at least one card, but none of... Th yeah, improved weapon system, but that was for the Bomber, right? I'm fairly sure I unlocked an... Yeah, there we have it. I wonder if that's just for this fight or if we get them for all the fights. I have a way, it's a nice way to customize your ship. Maybe even you can get different sub variants or similar. I have a way, it's high bomber. For the Their destructive aims are clear. The rebels intend to disable the cruisers guarding the docks. Patience. Let's also wait. Tire Bomber is really fucking sluggish. Oh god. Evasive pattern. Doom. We actually got blasted by an iron cannon turret. That is... Alright, so we need to... Destroy the enemy Y-Wings. And we need to defend our cruisers. And we have a number of missiles. Target destroyed. We gotta kill assist on one of the wild ones as well. Got him. Not bad. Fire! With two different weapons to choose from, it's quite interesting to see that you can pretty much spam missiles, and that's that's pretty much what a Thai bomb is supposed to do. And I can now understand why the guy was able to get so many kills in a Thai bomber last round because it's very easy to get more kills in this thing. Come on! I have you now! Got him. Break, break, break. Let him overshoot us, and... Where did... Oh, God. We lost the lock on the gap. I just want to get some more missiles that way. Yeah, got him. That blockade runner is putting down some damn fire on us. I 
I'm just gonna keep on flying the bomber. It's not a bad job, really. However, I am a bit worried that it may be a bit too similar to Battlefield 1, where the bomber is... I don't care for the enemy missiles. I'm gonna destroy the Corvettes. Roger that. Breaking. This is the way. Yeah, thanks, I noticed. Target destroyed. More incoming and we're dead. Oh, here is available Boba Fett in Slave 1. Apparently we have missiles here too. Uh, but now we need to defend the, the shield projectors because we have to fly inside. Fire! Haven't heard the last of me. Oh come on! I think we collided with something. I have a doubt where I managed to kill myself with my own missiles. That's embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Right, let's move in with the Thai Bomber and see what we can do about it. I still want my goddamn... I still want my goddamn... ...joystick, but at least the mouse is not a terrible alternative. And we're dead. And when I say it's not a terrible alternative, I actually mean it. I think that's a boon to most people who prefer flying with a mouse. But I prefer to have the feeling of a joystick in my hand as I fly. So. We gotta kill us, is there at least? Whoa, fuck. I accidentally managed to press uh, A while turning, meaning my turn to get dive for the worse. No pun intended. At least not a good pun. Oh, come on! How... <sighs> See, this is why I want a joystick. It's far easier to... It's far easier to just... Adjust. Oh, multi missile actually means multi missile as well. Only one generator remains. If it fails, the one generator and four rebel revives. Oh god, no! Not this again. I'm actually thinking we're gonna try the standard issue TIE Fighter. Oh, we actually made it. Sweet. 
Glory to the Empire. The rebels will think twice before daring to attack these yards again. I still think the end cutscene is a bit intense, but hey, it works. At least we're racking up the score. I think we're gonna stay for one more of these, one or two more of these. And then we are going to the main event as it is. The main event being... <laughs> the main event being... Ground combat. Got him. Coming about heading 2490. Cut to the left. I'm on the leader. Got him. Break 2649. Take out the TIE Fighters. A Y Wing squad has joined us. Cover them so they can perform a bombing run. And we're dead. Let's try the A-Wing again, see if the A-Wing is a bit more fun to fly in combat. I mean, we do have the missiles. Good work. Our Y-Wings finished their bombing run. You are not safe, little man! Come on. Three percent on the shields. I don't think I'm coming back from it. Tight turn and I did the same fucking mistake again. I shouldn't just press A when trying to do a tight knit turn. All right, need to wait for other orders. This is this is actually us getting a lot further than we have before. Got him. Target destroyed. New orders. Target those gun groups. That should depower the Star Destroyer shields. Yeah, you don't get to do that. Target the power couplings. Go. Let's go tight across the destroyer's surface. Evasive pattern. Yeah. Evasive pattern not being able to fucking do a shit. We got about 100 ships left before we need to. Oh. The reactor is wide open. Hit it with everything you've got before the shields are back online. No, you will not escape. Missiles away. Coming back. Attack run. Vector 2490. Go. Oh crap. So much shit to fly into on this fucking map. Let's just pick the bomber. We performed well in the in the bomber before, so.
Come back here, you got him. This is gold leader. Oh, come on. We need to shake. Shake you guys. Shields down. We have a brief window to target the reactor. Quickly. We have the ion cannon providing us a bit of cover at least. Oh god no. I got some torpedoes away, but I don't think I managed to fire enough of them. Let's just pick the X-Wing for the next pass. Oh, fuck, we need to save the couplings again. Ah! Break 2490 and go. And we're dead. I need to shape this thing up. I really should be waiting for my mates to have destroyed a coupling and be ready for an attack on the main reactor myself. Yeah, him them. Oh, come on! That wasn't even fair! I was way clear of that turret explosion. Okay, this is the chance. This is the chance we have to to blow the reactor. We got it. We've done it. We've loosened the Empire's grip on this entire system. Scratch one star destroyer. Well, we got a, a, quite a few ranks by playing here. Is this ever going to end? We got to level fucking 10. Forces repel the rebels assault. Yeah, we're not actually not going to continue with Starfighter. Instead, we are going to switch to one of the ground-based modes instead. And this is because I want to vary myself a bit.